Hello, everybody. My name is Luchara. Zico Global Survival, my 10th community server, 10 servers. We are on day nine, day nine, I think. My last stream, I built this workshop. Now, of course, it is filled. And you can kind of get an idea of why I wanted it to be so big, right? <laughs> These assembly lines are huge. We don't have a lot of empty space. I did have some chests in this corner, in these corners, but uh, the stuff in this side of the room couldn't reach the chest. So I was like, eh, there's probably really no reason to have the chest then. So I got rid of them. You can see them in my inventory right there. So today I'm going to tour around. I'm going to see what everybody else is up to. Let's give an update on my situation, uh, my basement. I've managed to dig out one large lumber stockpile. Eventually I want to have four down here. So I got a lot more digging to do. Hello, Kitty. How you doing today? Yeah, lots to do yet. Um, of course, once advanced smelting and reinforced concrete comes out, I'm going to redo this whole side of my property um, and turn this into a giant factory, another factory, in addition to the factory I already have. <laughs> so this new factory, that won't be today, obviously, because there's no reinforced concrete yet, will be... Uh, for industry and electronics. Um, I got my windmills in just enough, just enough to power everything. Actually, I think if everything's running, I don't think I can run everything. Cause I got four of these screw presses and two of these uh, lathes. Why not word hard to say lathes? <laughs> um, they're 200 each. So that's 1200 power, which is all my windmills. And these little things use 75 each. But actually, I can run all all that other stuff in one of these. Actually, I don't even I don't think I've even used the second one. Like it, the it's really just iron gears, and those are quick enough. The odd gear box. Actually, I could probably make some more gears here. Um, heat sinks. I haven't had to make any heat sinks yet. That's further down the road. That's for industry and electronic stuff, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, I need to eat. My, my my diet is super unbalanced right now. I need fat, so let's eat some stew here. Gosh, that gets it better, a little better. Yeah, I'm out of crushed stone, I think, too, for roads. I think, yeah. So I got asphalt cued. I got no crushed stone for that. Is there any crushed stone around? Ooh, actually, you know what I'm going to do before I do anything else? I'm going to abuse my admin privileges by sending out a server-wide message. <laughs> oh, I should have put Lucera's live on YouTube. Anyway, I'm sure people will figure out who sent that message. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm at a crushed. Hey, Rico. I'm sure people have crushed. I still don't know if I can get a truck up to where Hood and Dorable, Dorable, Dora, Durable Dora live. Um, I tried yesterday and I couldn't. The the tunnel. Oh, Miso's got a ton, but she's also charging 0.5 for it. Um, who's this? Oh, Punch has got a bunch. Punch has got a bunch. That rhymes. Let's go grab that. It's not a fair trip to Punch's. <laughs> oh, that, I'm going to have to cut down that tree. That tree's, that's not the first time that tree has gotten in my way. That was efficient loot. You like you like my style punch? I don't think I can hold this much in the truck, though. Isn't it like 200 and some I think I can hold? 215? 213, maybe? Something like that. So I can hold that much. No, it's not 213. 217, maybe? There is a maximum. I'm going to hit it here soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, so it's 218, I think. 212, 212 calorie says. No, it's something eight. I think it depends what kind of stone. Because I think granite's a little heavier. Like granite might be 212. Because I know with the cart, you could have like 97 crushed sandstone, but only like 93 crushed granite. I think. <laughs> Not real sure. But I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to rebuild my house because the house part of this uh, 
this complex, whatever you want to call it, is um is gonna have, like this whole thing's gonna have to be factory. So I have two options. I can either claim some more back here, put my house back here. You've been shorting yourself, it's 218, and high punch and high calorie and high Simon and high Rico. Um uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, it's either that or like maybe I could just claim on a like a beach somewhere, right? Like a beach house. So I was thinking up uh, up here. Very few people live up here. It's nice and secluded, right? Nice beach house. There is a road goes close, right? Actually, this road goes right there. So maybe maybe right here. But like I said, this tunnel is only too high in spots. I know you can get to Miso, but I think after and Toby, but after that. Unless somebody changed it. Actually, well, let's go that way. Let's go check, see if that tunnel's still too high. Just can't get through there with a the truck, right? And your truck is over here, Looch. All right, so let's just look at what everybody's been up to. So obviously, um, I'm not sure how much of this is new, like, to the stream. I'm sure everybody's been by here. Everybody's seen Punch's setup. Um, Punch, at some point, if it's okay with you, I might need to steal some water from you <laughs> if that's okay but that's not today so we'll worry about that when we need to worry about it oh crush slag yeah i should probably yeah oh I'll, I'll, I'll get some more crush later we'll worry about that later actually i should probably queue up we'll see more we don't have much left here i am buying crush slag too if anybody wants to sell me some all right so we need fat right Yep, still need fat. Uh, that's a fact. It's the exact opposite of real life. <laughs> I have, I ingest too much fat in real life. Oh, it's fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, meat pie is fatty. Although, we're already carb heavy, right? There, well, we're a little more balanced now. Our vitamins are actually low now. So let's have a fruit salad. All right. We got roads queued. We'll go punch this place. I buy crushed slag for half the price of other crushed rocks. Yeah, because I mean, crushed slag is only it's only a byproduct, right? Like slag has no value other than it's crushed for roads, right? Whereas other rocks at least have a value. Like crushed sandstone and crushed granite can be turned into sand. Right, um, shale can be used for bricks. I guess crushed nice and crushed basalt don't have a use, but the raw rocks can be used for things, right? Whereas slag has no use, right? So I mean, point two for slag. Like there, most servers slag goes for like a quarter or half of that. Like what I'm offering for crushed slag is very generous. Right? I feel. <laughs> yeah, I was planning to stream yesterday, but I just didn't have time. Oh. Oh, wow. Punch it. Uh, the sensor caught that and held it for review. Doesn't like shade. Yeah, I was planning to stream yesterday, but I had to go to my father's and shovel for him because he has that heart issue. He can't shovel. Oh, I guess I should probably check out what people have been doing. Um, by the time I got back, it was too late to start my, like it was past my stream start time. And I didn't want to do, I didn't want to start late because the football game was on and I didn't want to. Right. But, but slag. Okay. So what's slag worth? Right. What, what's slag worth? Because slag has no, slag has no use, right? Slag has no use and you only get it as a byproduct. Right? Oh, this is the royal bed. Look at this bed. I mean, like the, the slag has no use. Slag has no value, right? Like what's what's like try to try to sell slag, just normal slag, not crushed, and let me know how much you sell. Because you're not gonna sell much because it has no value other than crushing it. I get what you're saying that it's that I'm, I'm buying it for less and it takes more calories to crush. I get that. But I mean, what's the alternative, right? 
The alternative is you just have slags sitting in your inventory that you can't get rid of, right? I don't know. I feel point two is fair. Like I said, it's usually like point zero five for crust slag or point one, in, if, from what I recall. Um, and yes, tomorrow, advanced smelting will be open tomorrow. So this is Calories Place. And who was it? Somebody said they didn't even realize that this spelled K-A-L at first. Because if you're just kind of walking by like this, right? And actually, a normal slag, too, it is a pollutant. It's a very mild pollutant, but it is a pollutant. So you don't want it just sitting in your inventory, right? Hey, Krogsgaard. So let's go look at Don's place. Whereas rocks, at least... Stones have a value, right? This is Don's store. Don's workshop. Don's house, part of Don's house at least. Kitchen, little kitchen. Yeah, I wanna, <laughs> I I really enjoyed it. Uh, there's Don, the quarry. I love how it's like, he has it like the, with the support pillars and the ramps on the outside. Like this looks like a real quarry, right? Like, man, I don't know. I love it. I just, ah, it's just it's chef's kiss. Oh, yeah, you're right, Drew, and you don't make it to many streams. So, glad you're here. But yes, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm, I'm trying to stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I was just, I was busy yesterday, right? And <laughs> at some point, we're supposed to get a... So I'm supposed to get a snowstorm. I just want to tell everybody now. It's supposed to snowstorm where I am tomorrow. Um, you know, I may lose power. Um, you know, at some point I'm going to have to go shovel my father out. Um, ooh, coal. Coal is actually pretty common under the grasslands. Not like wetlands. Like coal is always under the wetlands. Yeah, so I guess what I'm saying is over the next couple days, if you don't see me, um, oh, he's got an elevator. Nice. Yeah, I know. I love this Cory Don. It's great. And yes, with the, with the crushed slag, like if people sell me a bunch of crushed slag, obviously my profit margin is higher on roads if people sell me the crushed slag. But I mean, I, at, at the price that I have for roads, I considering the calories that asphalt uses. I'm not making a whole, whole lot anyway. So, you know, if I if I make a little bit more occasionally because people sell me crushed slag, I'm gonna take it. Is it just me or is the in-game sounds a little loud today? Maybe I just have these up too loud. I find the steam truck noise gets annoying. So, the player that uh, lived over there um, quit slash got banned. I told the whole story in a Discord. I'm not going to tell it again. This property is for sale. Did anybody buy this? Is it still for sale? Yes, this is for sale if anybody wants. All this player's old properties are for sale in the real estate desk. In the um, real estate desk is in the kitty hall, I think. Punch says, say it like this, I had at least twice the money of Bluch at this time as a max, so he's way too cheap. I, yeah, I don't like having huge profit margins. Um, yeah, my industry hall, whatever money I do have, which I do have a lot, it, it's going to be gone, like, middle of the week <laughs> when I start investing in reinforced concrete and steel and stuff. Like, just to get, to get my, um, my tier two haul going and to get iron stored up to get ready for mechanics. I was actually broke. I had I had to sell land claims <laughs> just to get by. All right, so we're at El Tozo's place now. There's El Tozo. I love I love this place. I mean, this is the thumbnail, right, today, because this is this view right here. This was the thumbnail. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't know how I don't even want to know how much what you spend on lumber, El Tozo. Like 
Damn. I'm only half naked. Like, I'm only half naked, El Tozo. <laughs> but yeah, this house is great. Sun. Do these actually grow in here? Apparently. I did not know he could grow. But I guess that makes sense because apparently vertical farming is still a thing where you plant a field and then you place another field above it. I mean, obviously that must work. But yeah, so Van Smelting will be released tomorrow. Then on Thursday, there will be like composites, advanced masonry, industry, advanced cooking, advanced basing, oil drilling, all that stuff. And then electronics will be next Sunday, a week from today. So yeah, so that's Altozo's place. Also shout out to the support pillars. Are they functional support pillars? Do they go all the way down? Oh, they do. Oh, they almost do. You know what? I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you like full marks for this still El Tozo. Cause I mean that's most of them go all the way down. Ooh, somebody's got fish traps. I assume El Tozo. Got a bunch of fish traps down here. Any fishies in the fish traps? Could I if there was a fish in a fish trap, would we be able to see it? Does anybody know? Yeah, most of them go all the way down. I'll give you credit for that, Altozo, if you're watching. <laughs> all right, so where was I was going somewhere? So there's Josh's place. I don't think Josh is active anymore. He might be. I could be wrong. But I feel like I haven't seen Josh in a while. Four days, 19 hours. That's why we haven't seen him in a while. There's Fuse's place. Looks like it hasn't really changed much since last time we were here i don't think no i do love the barren though because it looks like it actually looks like a burn you don't think the fish traps have a visual cue at least the crab pots didn't okay that's what i figured oh yeah i was gonna check this tunnel <laughs> that's what i was gonna do who's got a little store in the corner here oh bro keeper yeah i don't think bro keepers active anymore either That's too bad, five days. All right, so let's uh, go see Miso's place and we will see if this tunnel has been heightened yet. <laughs> I don't think it has, at least it wasn't yesterday when I was here. I mean, it's good up till Toby's place up there, but then it's only too high. Oh, the Miso's place has definitely changed since last time I was up here, I think. So here is her crushing setup storage over there got her truck oh she's got a nice little brick building brick and mortar stone mixed over here for her this is just her kitchen her house i think i don't think she's an actual cook she's got a nice bed as well cast iron bed well the one calorie had that calorie the one you had is even a tier above this one though right i think the bathroom nice yeah this probably gives a fair amount of uh points this house yeah 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 that's what i thought so is this all workshop yeah it looks like it is nice oh you had to get gold to make the royal version okay this where does this road go oh it goes up to uh on on ostentatious place so let's go check that out while we're local oh more coal <laughs> Like I said, coal in the grasslands. So I've gotten lucky in a few runs where I found coal under my house, but really it's pretty common. All right, so we got a little brick. Uh, obviously work in progress because there's nothing in here. <laughs> Some sand for sale. Back over here. We got, oh, there's a bunch of vases, but I don't, this even count towards a housing bonus with this stuff in here? I'm not sure. Oh, I want to make one comment and I'm going to try to, I'm not trying to call anybody out here, but if you're still charging for 
or even three and a half loonies for iron bars. Uh, you need to you need to revisit that. Um, if you like, you should have a uh, stamp mill and a uh, screening machine and a blast furnace now. And each of those things is more efficient at processing iron than the old stuff is. Because that three and a half and four price it has been the price since the tier one stuff. Right? Oh, and I'm, I'm, Uno is not a smelter. So I'm not talking about Uno with these prices. Um, so you need to lower your price. And like if, if you don't know how to calculate it, if you don't want to calculate it, just go see what Punch or Griffin or... Um, Gifted Amigo in Season 10 started. He was curious about the game for a while. Nice. So, yeah. Like, I'm just... I wonder... Does he have a house? Because he got to get that housing bonus, right? Or Skull, yeah. So, see what Punch or Goal, Skull or Griffin have for their prices and just kind of match that. Or, you know, maybe... Because basically, the, in my opinion, the price of an Iron Bar should be two or two and a half. Yeah, it's always good to have new players on the server. This, I assume, is going to be... Oh, I'm sold out of water wheels and windmills. Your house. But yeah, I would... Oh, maybe there's a house up there? No, that's just storage. Yeah, you got you to gotta build him a house, Don, or help him build a house, or her. Um, it'll be two later tonight. Yeah, because the thing is, for me, like if I went and bought a person who has... Uh, iron bars for four they have a ton of them like hundreds i could go and buy those but you want to build a few apartments for anything yeah i i've rented in the past and it is nice other things keep getting in the way yeah that, well that's eco right you can have all these plans but it'd be hard to actually <laughs> get them done um like if i buy iron bars for four i would basically be losing money because of what my sell prices are and it's like i'm, I'm not gonna change my sale prices back and forth based off what I'm buying iron for. So yeah. So please just see, you know, anytime you upgrade your equipment like that, re just realize that you need to reevaluate your prices. So this is Toby's place and I am going to be trapped back here, aren't I? <laughs> um, all right. Let's see if on stuck will work here. Yeah. All right. There we go. You and Skull have been waiting. So people that not have upgraded day before can compete. Yeah. And I mean, two and a half is fine. Like, I don't mind paying my... I, I base my prices off an iron buyer price of two because I know that's where it's going to be eventually. And I'm lazy because I, I don't want to readjust my prices later. But I'm still making money buying it at two and a half. But if I'm buying it for three and a half or four, I might break even at best. All right, so somebody has been busy with this tunnel because this was not three high. Like these are too high, right? Which this road doesn't go anywhere. Nobody really lives here, right? Like you got uh, El Cirque out here. So I'm sure he would appreciate this road. This is kind of like a no man's land, right? Like nobody really lives in this circle. You got Hood and Door here. You got Ishmael here. You got Toby, Miso here, El Cirque there. But in between them, but we'll get this road done eventually. Might actually, might be able to actually go all the way here. Might be able to get to Hood and Dora's place. So yeah, so this the original tunnel Miso dug up to about here, and this where it gets thinner. This is where I took over and started digging it out. But like yeah, like three and a half and four was a fair price for iron when people only had the tier one um stuff so yeah uh oh this gets this gets a little scary so for anybody who was curious somebody asked earlier in chat if you could get a truck up here and you can all right well while i'm here <laughs> while i'm here <laughs> might as well buy some crushed and check out what Hooden Door have been up to. So I like I like the use of crushed like on your property to kind of like make a path with it. 
it's something that I never think to do myself. But when I see other people do it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I should do that. And then I never do it. <laughs> oh, this is definitely new. I like it. Obviously, they're planning to put something in here. I think this is, those are roof cubes, I think, actually, right? And the actual roof, is that, I don't think that's roof, is it roof cubes? No, I don't think it is. So the roof, the roof, whatever, is not roof cubes, but the whole, everything else is. <laughs> Except the floor, the floor is floor. But, no, that's cool. What do they got going on over here? I mean, I could slash fly and go in and look, but. I allow if um yes, Mad Games two season six is done. Um, I'll come. I'll I'll do another season eventually at some point. But I mean, I did like what like fifty nine episodes. Um, I was pretty much up caught up the modern day. You know, I had billions of dollars in the bank. I felt like I had done pretty much everything that I had set out to do with the run. Um, and you know, and views were starting to dip. So. Yeah, I decided to focus elsewhere, but I will come back to it eventually because it's a fun game. Whenever there's, you know, another big update, I'll probably uh, fire it up again. All right, so yeah, nobody else lives up here. I'm surprised. It is a good one. And once once the eco server settles in a little bit, I'd like to do another Mad Games Tycoon multiplayer session. It would be fun. Yeah, I, I thought for sure more people would want to live up here because this coal was, like, exposed, right? I was like, surely a smelter is going to want to live up here. You got a government store right here. You got a desert for iron. You got exposed coal. Water's not that far away, right? I thought for sure. People, but only one, only Hood and Door or two, but, I mean, they're a team. They're the only people who want to live up here. Everybody else is like, nah. I'll live over here by the river or over here by this river. And I get it. Rivers are cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not always great at predicting where people are going to live. Like I try to put the government stores in logical places where a lot of people are going to live. Right? Like but sometimes I'm wrong. That government store behind me <laughs> I haven't had to clear it out yet. I don't know if any of the other admins have had to. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. The moral of the story is you can get a truck to Hood and Dora's place if you need to buy something from them or sell something to them or whatever. Hey, Russ, how you doing today? So, take this crush back turn into asphalt maybe we'll go down the road the other way check out what people have been up to once we get back home I just want to back up for a sec I kind of like the look of Miso's place from the outside too I do like the mortar stone mixed with brick but I couldn't I couldn't do that for my workshop because then it would lower the tier value right I had to go just pure brick and lumber I guess anyway So, does anybody have any questions for me while you have my attention? <laughs> oh, we have one other thing I want to talk about um, is uh, advanced upgrade fours here once I get back home. So, I'm trying to keep them in stock. You can still sell me an AU3 and get an AU4, but I'm trying to have it so that you don't need to buy an AU3. I'm trying to have it so I have AU4s just in stock, but. It's not always easy. And Sam Man has no pants on either. No pants, gang. Let's go. Um, so yeah, so if you see AU4s in my shop, you should be able to just come buy them. Like they're not, you know, it's not like somebody sold me AU3s and is waiting to buy the 4s. I'm trying to keep them in stock. And I apologize to anybody who bought an AU3 from me last night um, and didn't get an AU4 because what happened was... I was down here yesterday. I was digging out um, my basement. 
I think this was it this stockpile or this stockpile? One of these stockpiles, I think it was this one. Like this one wasn't here yesterday. I placed it. Um, um to help me, so, you know, like if I'm digging this stuff out, right? I can just dig out and then these. I didn't even sneeze. I just thought I need to. Anyway, so <laughs> I put it here so I could just dig, turn around, dump the stuff, right? But what happened was the machinist table is like right there, right? So it spit the AU4 into there. So then all the AU4s went into this stockpile and the store is way up there, right? It didn't reach. So when I logged in this morning, there was 11 AU4s just sitting in this stockpile. So that's on me, right? That's my fault. I'll take the blame for that. But that's why it happened, right? Anyway, so now there should be AU4s though. So there's six AU4s here. If you have AU3s, you can just sell me your threes, grab whatever fours you need. Um, if you don't have AU3s, you can just come by the fours, right? That's what's, that's how it's meant to be. Like, that's what I want to do. Um, so how am I doing for stuff? I could probably go for a few more pistons here. So yeah, I got, yeah, I'm getting kind of low on both the pipes and bars, but that's just the norm now. All right. So how's my food balance now? Need fat again. <laughs> fat still. And vitamins and yeah, vitamins and protein. Good enough. Can we squeeze in a vegetable medley? No, we're not hungry enough for that. All right, so we dropped off. No, we didn't. Let's drop off my crushed sandstone. I think I have most things in stock. I don't have any steam trucks. Are people still looking for steam trucks? Bori has a steam truck. If anybody needs a steam truck, Bori has one. Um, screening machines. Maybe we've got a water pump. Yeah, let's do a screening machine and another blast furnace. I don't know. Does anybody still need a blast furnace? Like are people still at the point where they need blast furnaces? Anybody? Or stamp mills or anything that I can make? <laughs> Somebody asked for nails. Punch said he's making 200. Somebody said, can you add a zero to that? They want 2,000, not 200. So this road, nice asphalt, but you're going to have to widen this one. I'll help with that at some point. You need pump jacks and refineries. Those need um, reinforced concrete, I think. Calorie. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure they need reinforced concrete. And they might need steel as well. Something in my nose. Some dog hair. Probably dog hair. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't drive my truck back. Uh, yeah, so people, yeah, steam engines, people are going to need to. Um, yeah, pump jack, yeah, pump jacks and oil refineries both need reinforced concrete. So I'll, I'll try to get those up uh, tomorrow. Um, we're going to need waste filters, but only those, those need steel. So the steam, and, well, I guess, could I make a crane? Does anybody want a crane? I could make a crane. I would have to go buy some cotton fabric. And make some heat sinks, but I could do it. Um, yeah, steam engine. Yeah, I'll, I'm. I'll, I'm not going to make any steam engines now, but I'll make sure they're uh, ready to go for tomorrow. Can't afford a truck yet. You're poor? Are you that poor, Sandman? They're only going for four hundred. Take a crane as a decoration. Okay. Well, I'll. Yeah. I'll get I'll I'll work on those things later today when I'm when I'm not streaming. <laughs> yeah, did I leave my truck in the middle of the road? I kind of did, didn't I? Probably shouldn't leave your truck in the middle of the road, Luch. Oh, when Punch said he's making two hundred nails, he means two hundred times what sixteen? I think like one. One iteration of making nails is 16 nails. So when he said 200, it really means, what would that be, 3,200? I think. 
All right, so I went right by Rico's place here. But Rico has two places. This is just more like his store and storage, I think. Or maybe it's evolving into more. And Rico, you are... You have been working on um, getting these a place for these down there, right? Oh, yeah, you're, well, you're all the way down to bedrock, it looks like. But, yeah, I mean... Obviously, having them up here is not great, but at least it's in the desert, right? They can't... Oh, this is not how to get out. <laughs> yeah, just get them down there when you can. That'll be fine. Just a sec. I need to blow my nose. Sorry about that. All right, so that was Rico and um, Rongved, I think is your friend. And then we got Russ Coleman over here, rocking the hewn log house, much like myself. <laughs> and he's got the nice little brick store, though. Slash crushing and smelting area. Look good. And whose is this? There's a lot to mine out in there. Oh, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> it's a lot of work, especially because a lot of it is that uh, nice or how nice, however you say it. Who's? Oh, this, oh, this is goodies. <laughs> I haven't seen Goody. He logged in there once. I haven't seen him since, which is too bad. Goody's an old veteran of, like, my old servers. And he makes cool builds, too. And we got uh, Jasper and Dr. Old Cole here. I love their kind of like, like their parking lot, I guess you could call it. Driveway, front area, whatever you want to call it, it looks good. That's that's all that really <laughs> matters. They got meats, they got home goods, they got cement somewhere. Where's the cement? Oh, the cement's over here. Yeah, I haven't had to buy a whole lot of cement yet. It's mostly been... Um, sand and crushed that I've needed a lot of for the asphalt. Cement hasn't been the problem yet. But he makes good builds and loot's destroying them. I, I mean, I destroyed them because I have to make a new world. That's it. <laughs> and then we got yeah, cement depot. They got a couple of kilns back there. Lots of other space. No, no. What? What do you mean, destroying them, then? And who lives across the road from? I don't know what you're referring to, Punch. Oh, on server, because it was below the road. Yeah, I know the one you mean now. I mean, hey, he could have left it. Could have left it. <laughs> or he could have like done something different than rebuild his whole house whole house. That was a long time ago, man. How do you remember that? I barely remember that. Oh, I'm sold out of wooden elevators. Another thing I'll have to get. This is Jasper's garage. I need to build myself a garage. Oh yeah, I guess I destroyed his house that time too, when we let the meteor hit. <laughs> But yeah, whenever, uh, let's keep going this way for now. See that road that went over the top is gone. I'm not sad to see that gone. <laughs> and we got Thorgrim and we got Stealth Sniper. All right, so let's look at Thorgrim's pub here first. And then we'll, Stealth Sniper was busy. Was it yesterday or Friday? Clock tower's full. Xander's got that. Yeah, I, hey, look. I emptied three other <laughs> I emptied three other gov stores earlier today, Xander. You can have this one. So this is uh Thorgrim's pub. I don't know why I still have my shovel in my hand. Um come in, have a bite, take a load off. Blacking out says I destroyed that road over the top, couldn't handle it. Yeah, I, I was not it was bugging a lot of people, not just you. <laughs> While we're here, 
months we'll stock up on some stuff. Right? I mean, I'm here. And yes, I'm still eating stew because the only fat source, like I do like pad thai, but it's expensive and it's not often in stock. It always, right? I mean, hmm, Thorgrim's only charging two eighty four, and the other places are charging five seventy five. I don't know what's the right price for that. Oh, I don't have room. Oh, my truck's not close enough. That's the only thing I don't like about your pub, Thorgrim. <laughs> it's hard to buy in bulk because you got to get your truck like right in here. I think this should be good. There we go. I mean, maybe I should just park my truck close to begin with. Can you make a mechanic advanced upgrade if I have a number four? Yeah, I could do that for you once I get back. All right, so yeah. So stealth sniper, like this, this was all, there was all clay and dirt and everything here. And like, I came out to buy food from Grip from Thorgrim and like stealth hadn't had much done. Then the next time I come out, it's just like, boom, all of this. <laughs> To go in and relax in the pub. I only have so much cool. I only have so much time. The elevator is so cool. Thank no problem. There is call posts for the elevator, so you can call it up and down. But I don't make those. I don't know who makes those. Who makes the elevator call posts? Is it like a carpenter? Somebody makes them. <laughs> yeah, it's carpenter. It is carpenter. Okay. All right, so this is Stealth's nice house. Looking good. Needs to upgrade to a normal toilet, though. <laughs> hey, I just upgraded to a normal toilet yesterday, so, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, this whole... Like, I'm just amazed at how quick Stealth got this going. Like, this was just, like, on changed jungle. And then the next time I was out here, it was this. It felt like... I felt like it went, it came up very quick. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to. Oh, whose truck is this? Oh, throwing him. I will take one ale, please, barkeep. Wait, there's no barkeep. What is this? He's kind of shoveling dirt off the floor there, blacking out. Maybe this should have been my thumbnail. Next stream. Next stream. Now, how do I get up? <laughs> What's down here? Like a secret room. All right. So Simon and Ubuntu and... I forget, I forget your friend's name, Simon. <laughs> so yes, I want to state for the record, you are allowed to have a group of three people. That is allowed. Anything more than three is a problem. Three is allowed. Hilbert. Hilbert is your friend. So they were, they're doing a big build out here. So I want to come take a look, get a little progress report on it. Before we get there... At the the pen pineapple apple pen. Okay. <laughs> Who's is it? whose firm is this? Oh, this is. I don't know whose firm that is. All right, so let's see what they got cooking over here. Oh my goodness! What is going on here? Ah, this is a lot of lumber. Back and forth. That's his firm. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is fantastic right here. Yes, don't forget the like button, please, and thank you, folks. And if you're new, if you if you don't play on the server, if you're not one of my regulars, um, yeah, this is teamwork, make the dream work right here. I think I might have to like clip this 
this might be my first YouTube short right here. This teamwork make the dream work going on right here. This is great. <laughs> I'm so glad I came over right when you guys were doing this. And if anybody's wondering how I hid the um, the UI, the HUD, it's Alt-Z. The only problem is when you bring it back, it always brings up the Z menu. <laughs> oh, now she's got to... She's got to turn the truck, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is content right here, folks. All right. As much as I want to stay here and just watch this all day. <laughs> yeah, so if you're new to the server, if you don't actually play in the server, you missed um, 45 minutes fuse. I went by your place, um, but it hadn't changed much, so I didn't really look too deep. Um yeah, I'm just kind of touring around, talking about what's going on, talking about what I'm up to. Oh, a new and a new Leslie Nopes. So yeah, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. If you're new and you want to check out the server, uh, join my Discord. The information you need is pinned in the eco channel of the Discord. Whoa, I almost got my head taken off. By that windmill. Oh, it does push me. It did push me away. I didn't know if it would. Look at that. <laughs> You're building the pyramid of Toten Simon. <laughs> nice. All right, so that is what's going on here. I was going to say it'd be easier to do it from the outside, but then I guess you got to run back to the truck every time for new, for more supplies, right? Whereas with this, you're, you're right there. Yeah, I had to, um, the, the farm government store, Zandra. Um, wait, is Zandra even here? Zandra's not watching the stream, is she? Oh my God, Xander is the worst admin in the whole world. I hate her so much. Okay, she's not here. Obviously, I was joking. Oh, I know. I see her in chat. She's not in. She's not, ah, I fell. <laughs> Obviously, you guys are both the best. Sandman's the worst. Just kidding. <laughs> um. Yeah, when I when I cleared out the um the farms government store, I had to clear I had to zap a bunch of chests too because they were full just full of wood pulp and old tools and that all gross stuff that nobody wants. Um Sandra, get into stream. Um yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, uh, who else is down this way? Wait, where does this road go? Well, that goes up to by Trudin's place and, um, and Bogo's. Bogo been on lately? No. <laughs> no, Bogo has not been on lately. There is somebody down this way still. You don't cause drama, Kitty. The drama just happens around you because you're on all the time. Specifically, you're on when I'm not. And people, I feel like, um, I feel like people, if they're, they'll ask you something because they know you're like a nice person and they'll, they'll think you'll say yes when I'll say no, I feel sometimes. You know what I mean? Although, not that I don't think I'm a nice person too, but <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So this was, um, Gooey K's place. Um, we've got, oh, there's a lot more to it. Let's go back in here. How do you get over to the brick part? Did I miss a doorway? Yeah, right here. No. Okay. Oh, so it's only brick on the outside. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. At the bakery. And the, the, yeah, no, you don't pause any of the drama kitty. I hope you realize that. I'm surprised I found my way out. Cause I was kind of amazed. Oh. Yeah, because I was, I was scared I was blocking the road, but I guess not.
Well, and, and part of it too is the problem is I have all these like, I have all these rules that, you know, I'll, I'll say in a stream, I'll say in a video, yeah, this is the rule, but it's not written down anywhere. I, sh I need to write down rules and put them in the discord. I mean, there's technically rules. The rule is don't be a dick, right? Or don't be an asshole. I forget what the rule is that I put, but I need, oh, Sorry, black and new. <laughs> Holding up traffic. <laughs> Kill myself. Um, I need to put the rules down, right? There needs to be more clarity, and that's on me. I am surprised that that, that they let them pull this dirt out. Usually it says the root's too strong. Your internet is dying hard today, but I'll pull up the YouTubes, Xander says. Yeah, be nice to each other. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. Right. And most people here do that. Right. So this is wired oranges, pineapple farm. So this is what I'm talking about with like the vertical farming. Right. So he's obviously he's going to fill in this row, put some dirt up there and he's going to plant more stuff up there or her. I don't I don't know if they're him or her. Did I just see somebody over in the woods? Anybody else see that? Their ghost? Am I seeing things? I might be seeing things. It's highly possible. But uh, being hunted, I don't know if it's confused if you're still here. How's the, I know you're not happy with the, uh, the attachments on the farm equipment thing. I'm going to try to keep many in stock, but I was just going to ask you, um, are the farmers mostly keeping up with demand now? Because I know there were some things that they weren't earlier. Oh man. Surely Xander realizes that that was a joke about her being a bad man. All right, so this is uh, Necrophiliac's place, I think. Yes. Let me in. Let me in. I want to see what's in there. I I don't. I only use. You made it. Yes. Yeah, so obviously, I I realized you were in games, Xander, and I was like, I haven't seen her in chat though. She must not be here. So then I just. Then I uh. I was saying you were a bad admin and stuff. Just I want to see if you were actually in chat or not, if you were actually watching. And when you didn't react, I assumed you were. But obviously that's a joke that you're a bad admin because you're not. You're a good admin. No, I know, but then Black and Out said it, right? And so I just wanted to make sure you realized I was joking. Um, anyway, yeah. If people's doors are open, obviously I'm I'm going to go in and take a look. But I will only use slash fly. If people are like, hey, can you check out my place in your next video or next stream? Right? You're not quite keeping up views? Okay. As long as it's close, I guess. But I mean, generally speaking, when I want to buy food, the food is there. So it's not a big deal to me. I mean, the cooks might feel differently. <laughs> um, so I think this is Bach and Forth's store. Yeah. And then we got... Um, Vitor, v Vitco, sorry, Vitco, Vitco. I'm not sure how to say your name over here. This looks similar to last time we were here, I think. Or maybe it was like, was it all brick last time? I feel like they were in the process of switching it over to brick last time I was here. Then we got Katie Corp here, I call it. I know you like to use darkness mining and darkness masonry and stuff. But you should call your, you should call the whole thing Kitty Corp, right? I think. No more mortar. I don't need mortar really anymore, so I don't care. <laughs> I can check out anything you want, anything I want. Ooh, does anybody want shop carts? Should I make some shop carts? I keep meaning to make shop carts, and then I never do. I think it's kind of more fun just to peek in people's, people's windows like a creep, though, right? Like, ooh. Yeah, I, I I mean, I'm mostly, I only use mortar for stone roads, and I'm not really making stone roads anymore. So I don't really need any mortar. It would be good for the Stardew Valley area. Keeping your doors closed. 
Your builds suck. Yeah, well, my I just throw all my furniture in, man. Don't worry about it. And that is the backside of uh, Necro's place. And there's nothing. There's nothing further down this road, right? Like nobody else. No, nobody lives down there. So where do they leave my truck? <laughs> mortar. Believe me, Don. Your mortar will definitely sell eventually. Um, if nothing else, I don't want to see the hole. I <laughs> know I don't want to see your hole, Katie. The Stardew. Oh, this you call this the Stardew Valley Center? Yeah, this would fit in Stardew Valley for sure. Oh, I know the theme for the government government stores next run. Try to make a try to make one that looks like Pierre's store from Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, advanced masonry. Yeah, that mortar is just gonna disappear like that right whenever um whenever advanced masonry comes up because it's like it's some ridiculous like 12 mortar for one ashlar i think isn't it i mean i think that's probably without upgrade modules but yeah and here's wired orange's little store and store rich or does he not have any silos if you're watching oh no they're he or she they have one it's kind of funny like i've been in voice with a bunch of people from the community so i know if they're a boy or a girl <laughs> and i i have a tendency to just if i don't know i just i have a tendency to say him he and him right because i'm a he him uh, but i shouldn't i probably shouldn't i shouldn't assume uh Go look, look down here. I believe you're not a dude, Kitty. <laughs> you don't need to prove it to me. I like the use of the the angle blocks, though. That looks cool. Oh, yeah, a little uh, car park there. Got the little fence. A few nice pieces here. Oh, I'm assuming this is all Orange's land, right? I'm just, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't assume. Wait, how do you get upstairs? Did I miss a ladder somewhere? Edible, oh, Edible and Xander, I have, ah, I've heard you in voice. And how did I miss out on that voice call? Out of the three of you, I have only heard Edible. And I haven't heard met Edible very often. All right, we're going to parkour our way in here. Ah! I don't know. Do you think, do we think that's, that's a makeable jump? Or am I just going to hit my head on the roof every time? Like, can I, can I land on that ledge? Do we, does anybody think that's a makeable jump? I was short that time. You have to ask really nicely for Xander to get in the voice chat. You can confirm Kitty is a lady. That nah, whatever. <laughs> Maybe if Luke gets 500 likes on, on this stream, I'll join a voice call. 500 likes? I wonder, do any of my videos have 500 likes? Maybe, maybe episode one of Eco does. Let's see, I'm just checking here. I know, can't tell, but. Wait, how do I see that? It has, oh, it has 489 likes. Work? No. You have to take my word for it. The let's play my episode one of my single player let's play, which is my most viewed video, has four hundred eighty nine likes. So yeah, no, nothing. I have. I don't have any videos with five hundred likes. Dude looks like a lady. Oh, what's over here? Oh, that's. Oh, this is like the back entrance to on, 
on Ostentatious' place. Man, it, that name is a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. The old back entrance. Sneaky. Like Mr. Sneaky. <laughs> Voice call for my surprise birthday party. Did you just forget to invite me to my surprise birthday party? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember a surprise birthday party. <laughs> you can compromise if, oh, it's, if this gets 300 likes. <laughs> Kitty, if this gets 300 views, I'll be happy. <laughs> All right, moving on. We got Phil's place here. I like, I like, oh. lumber with just a touch of brick looks better than brick with a touch of lumber, I feel, right? Am I crazy in saying that? We got the big fireplace in here. So what did Phil end up taking? Because I know originally he was planning to do mechanics and then he kind of changed his mind. But I'm thinking maybe he's changing his mind back, excuse me, because he's got the mechanics, the machinist tables. Got to bribe people if they want to hear my voice. Katie, I don't... If you want to get in voice chat with me someday, you can. Don't ever feel pressured to get in voice with me. It's fine. I don't... doesn't matter to me. It's not a big deal. I had a party of my own. Plans were canceled. Oh, that was when I was... Yeah, I had... I, I was doing trivia for my friends. Oh, you were going to do a birthday party for me that night? Sorry, sorry I, that I had plans. I don't have real life plans very often these days. Like not fun plans. Like I have stuff I have to do, especially like, you know, I gotta help my dad out right now a lot. Um, but I have a friend who lives away. He's coming home in a couple weeks, so. Where's this road go? Oh, another. <laughs> On on ostentatious has got all these um, secret entrances to their, <laughs> to their to their to their land. This road is kind of <laughs> this is in rough shape. I realize it's work in progress, but that's in rough shape. All right, so let's make sure I have lots of asphalt queued. All right, so we saw this whole road. There's still a whole bunch of the server we haven't seen yet. And as, as of right now, for me at least, I think this is my favorite build. Altozo spot. <laughs> I was so entranced by Altozo's house that I drove off the road. Well, let me keep driving. Oh, apparently this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. There we go. Everything is fine. You actually haven't. Oh, you haven't spoken with Edible. I've I've I, I've had Edible hop into voice um, a couple times. I drive like Sandra. Oh man, that was good. That's good stuff. All right, let's go back this way. I just want to check my cues briefly, and then we'll go make our way north. Check people up there. Well, yeah, I, I yeah. For anybody who doesn't know, originally El Tozo at his shop over there and it was like one lower than the road so that's why that ramp went down like that but you're right kitty kitty, kitty say that yeah there's no reason for that ramp to still be like this he did the same thing simon watched Neltozo's house and had an accident with Rudin. you can bake cakes but planning parties maybe not yeah there's no reason for this to still be like this it'll change Lutz, pick up the pipes I made you and crush slag and full. On my way, Punch. On my way. Um, What was I talking about? Going north. Yeah, I know I've been in voice with Edible a couple times. Um, yeah, there was one night there I was, I saw mm -hmm. that Calorie and Xander were in voice. And I was like, I've never been in voice with Xander. I, I probably should have hopped in, but I forget. Some days I just don't feel like being in voice. You know what I mean? I'm sure everybody gets like that, 
or maybe it's just me. Um, got a nice variety, but I'm really heavy right now. Let's drop off these. Yeah, that didn't help. Oh, it's a simmered meat. Simmered meat is is heavy, man. Simmered meat is heavy. Let's eat some of this simmered meat. I gotta like look. Oh, my microphone is blocking my my food wheel. Did I miss the new Domo shop? Oh yeah, I did. I'll have to go back. There's yeah, there's an admin voice channel. I'm always invited. Yeah, I feel bad, calorie. <laughs> I um I was in voice with uh, Axel and Mr. Sneaky, just in the Eco Voice channel yesterday. Nothing private. Anybody could hop in. If you if you ever see me or anybody else in the voice channel in Discord, feel free to hop in. Um, I literally just finished saying to Axel and Mr. Sneaky, like, "Hey, I should go. The football game starting soon. I got to run to the beer store first, though." And literally, I just finished saying that sentence, and Calorie hopped into the call, and I was like, oh, "Now I feel bad because I got to go, but." Now he's going to think I'm just bouncing just because he's here. <laughs> but legitimately, all right, so let's go buy the some punch. Then I got to double back, show that store. <laughs> the room says I have to maintain my reputation as a reckless driver. Well, yeah, last night I had a, I had, I had a few beer while I was watching a football game. And then I logged back into Eco, and my God, I was all over the road. I couldn't drive. It was bad. All right, well, yeah, I'm not going to be able to take all this slag this trip. I'll have to make multiple trips. Actually, you know what? Let's just take the pipes first. Go back to the slag. Yeah, I was like, well, there was one point. I forget where I went. I went maybe up to the the northern cooks, I call them, um, Darth and Bachnoth. I bought some stuff from them. And on my way back, I swear to God, just driving from there back to my house, there was like seven other people on the road coming the other way. And I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I like almost got into like four accidents. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to log off of Eco before I get a DUI. And the beer was hitting me. The beer hit me the wrong way last night. It just made me tired. I went to bed at 10 o'clock last night. 10 o'clock. I was pretty tired. I needed I I slept till nine today. So I, I was in bed for 11 hours last night. I needed it. That's why Calorie says they have to ask me really nicely to jump in the call. Yeah. And I think part of the problem is I need new headphones. These are not comfortable on my ears. I don't like wearing them if, if I can help it. 218, we decided. Yep, 218. Yep, 218 is the max for crush slag as well. And part of the problem is when you're on the roads, I like to say the server operates on a go to the right, like drive right, keep right. But, you know, people that are from Europe or Australia or whatever, they're not used to keeping right. So, like, I'm trying to keep right, but their instinct is to keep left. And that's what happens, right? When you got people from different continents and different rules on their actual roads. Yeah, Flex Flight Master says I'm an Aussie and I crash all the time, yeah. And I mean, like honestly, we got a lot of Europeans on the server too, right? So it's like, like half the people are used to keeping left and half the people are used to keeping right, right? So yeah, anyway, it is what it is. Oh, Rico ditched her. Uh, I think if he, yeah, there you go. He's fine. Everything is fine. Wait, can... My engineering, Ben. Yeah, no, they hit that. All right, let's make sure we have lots of... Uh, it's a road. Oh, we have no roads going. Wait, no. Why am I not reaching that stockpile? Why is that not on? sure why I didn't have that on. Anyway. So 100 roads is really 200, but like just watch how much food I have to eat just to queue up these, these roads, just so people know. Like full stomach, right? Like I got to eat like multiple times just to get these roads down. And queue up 100 here. This, okay. 
I feel like there was a reason why I had the stockpile not linked. <laughs> and now I'm like trying to think that because neither one of these benches was, was linked to it. Did I have a good reason for that? Am I going to regret this? I don't think so. Yeah, whatever it is, what it is. <laughs> if I regret it, I regret it. <laughs> oh, I'm out of fruit salads. No, it's not. It's not AU4 related. I think originally, I think it was because of iron wheels. I was trying to, I didn't want to use up iron for iron wheels unless I had lots of iron. So I think I was putting my iron there. But now that the, you know, there's not a massive iron shortage like there was, I think it'll be fine. I think. All right, how's the stomach now? Oh, now we need protein. All right, now we need to slam the simmered meat. All right, so yeah. They got a store. Damo and or Darth Arrow. Got a store up here. I don't know why I'm walking. And this is Chris 71979. Nailed it. Oh, you can't see it. It's, it's under my head. <laughs> this is his place. He's not been on much. Wait, this uh this Chris. I, I've seen him play on like Three or four of my servers, but I've never seen him play for long, which is fine. Like, you're allowed to come in and play for a week and get burnt out and, and move on. It happens. You know, I'm not judging people for that. We got Hogwarts over there, too, but Hogwarts is, I believe, inactive, and uh, their house is just the starter house. Wait, so where is this store? <laughs> is it right here in the corner? Runny Buns. <laughs> Another classy name right up there with skid marks. <laughs> Fuse has got to head out. Yeah, Fuse, I will try to make sure there's lots of uh, farm attachments in my store. Um, you know, sell me your broken ones. I'm, there's, it's only like a $3 difference, so you're only losing $3. Um, if you sell to me. Here's a store that, that I missed. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't want to drain your money fixing that stuff. So this is a Domo. I can always tell when something's built by Domo because it's got this little cute thing. I apologize if you can hear the dogs barking. Ooh, what do they got here? Oh, a bunch of charred junk. They have some campfire stuff. All the good stuff sold out, though, all the baked stuff. But root campfire stew is good. Because see, my character, this character is pretty picky. There's not much that I find delicious. So, though I'm I'm pretty heavy right now. I don't anyway. I'll come back to buy stuff later. Um. <laughs> so the few things I I do find delicious, I try to eat. But again, I will always say, when you're trying to get your food XP up, get your base up first, then your balance, then try to get a nice variety. Satisfy your cravings when you can. Tastiness is nice, but don't chase tastiness. Never take tastiness at the cost of something else. If you can get tastiness without sacrificing anything else, go for it. But do not chase tastiness at the cost of something else. You have faith in loots and the other admins that if I leave the server... Wait, wait, why are you leaving? What's happening? What did I miss? Luckily, you have a fancy button on your headset. It allows me to mute myself easier so no one can hear what's going on. I'm still, I'm a big ball of social anxiety. Hey, don't worry about it, Kitty. You don't need to be in voice. The experience being in a voice call on a different server makes it hard for me to join. Again, don't worry about, uh, don't worry about being in voice. Oh, no, I just mean like, like, and I'm not trying to single out Chris here, but there's several people like this who I see their names like, not every server, but I've seen their names on three or four servers, but they never seem to be, like, long-term players. I'm just saying that's fine. I'm not trying to, like, say, oh, don't bother coming next server if you're not going to play the whole time. That's not what I'm trying to say. And, yeah, I mean, Kitty, if you 
if some game comes out tomorrow and you're like, oh, I've been waiting for this game. I'm going to focus on that. Hey, go play that game. Like, I'm not going to hold it against you. I would rather you be here. Obviously, I would rather everybody be here. But if you got something else going on, you know, it's fine. But I know you're joking. I'm just saying broadly. Obviously, I'd rather people play, especially people who I know or I've come to know and enjoy playing with. But if something happens and you can't play, then you can't play. Right? Anyway, I know you're joking. <laughs> so here's Rico and Rongved's house. Sons of the Force. When does that come out anyway? Well, I think it's I think it's gonna work out that it's like right between runs. I'm pretty sure that I will be playing Sons of the Forest. It comes out next month. Can somebody can somebody check? See when Sons of the Forest comes out? If it works out timing wise, that is like between eco runs, we're we're absolutely gonna do that as a community, just FYI. Or well, for anybody who's interested. Excuse me. Um so here's Rico's uh, machine shop, similar to mine. So he only has, he has two of these, but only one of everything else. But I've been trying to kick out so much stuff, right? The only thing you worry about is being able to afford it. I, I mean, I'm, it's an indie game. I'd like to think it would only be 30 or $40, but who knows? Then we got Dufresne's factory over here. And Dufresne is gone on vacation right now. Yeah, so he's gone till the end of January. Please don't remove my claims. I'll take care of my tailings as the first thing when I get back. So, wait, does he have tailings? These? Yeah, he has tailings. Maybe, maybe we'll take the tailings away. Well, this is unowned, unowned tailings, unclaimed tailings. I'm assuming they're Dufresne's tailings. Oh yeah, he like hired you to uh to dig out space for him, right? Are you still are you still um authorized? Maybe we'll I don't know, maybe I'll do I'm not gonna do this on stream, but maybe I'll take the time and, and move the tailings down. Where is the basement? Hold on, just one second. all right sorry about that um i heard i could hear my father's voice and i was like oh, why is dad here does he need me does he need anything so i just wanted to check to see he was just stopping in for a visit he doesn't like he doesn't need me for anything Valerie says behind the house and down the ramp yeah yeah so maybe maybe we'll move the tailings down here yeah, we will not. Uh, but yeah, if you ever... So the rule on the server is, for anybody who's not aware, um, Punch can make light bulbs, uh, Rico. If you... Um, he's got them queued up, but he needs... Wait, how do I get out of here? He's got them queued up. You need to sell him copper wire, which you can make. So if you make him copper wire, sell it to him. A couple minutes later, there should be light bulbs there for you to make. Um any glass worker can make light bulbs. There's not many glass workers, though. Um, in addition to Punch, there's Philosopher King and Durable Dora. But Punch is your best bet because he has a buy order for the copper wire. Um, and yeah. And there's and Punch, I don't know if you're here still. Punch can confirm or deny that that's still still there. You're playing on... Do you, is that for your third star or fourth, Kitty? You must be close to that star by now. Or did you take something else in between? Oh, you just need to get the shop up. All right. 
I say, oh, hi, Bastion. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's Rico's. There's Dufresne's. Six days to your fourth. Yeah, I'm at like five and change. No, four and change. But like I said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty anal. Um, with my, with my food bonus, so I've had a pretty good food bonus. So this tunnel is definitely three high, but it still needs to be widened. But I've been meaning to come up here and start widening this tunnel. I just haven't had time. I've been so busy running around trying to keep all the mechanic stuff going. So this is actually a crossroads. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of copper has been mined out of here. This is Ishmael's Ishmael's store, I think, right? Yeah, it's Ishmael's store. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of copper here. If anybody needs copper, at least for a while, there is some public copper up here. And my truck is definitely blocking the road. At least nobody came by, though. So, yeah, so this, like I said, this one needs to be wide because it's, it's pretty narrow for a long time. Like, if I met somebody right now, well, I guess we do have... Um, Vaughn's place in the middle. Like you could turn in there if you met somebody, but yeah. It's this is a little bit a little longer than I would like for this narrow of a tunnel. Right? And I come up here fairly often, or I have been. Um, because two of the smelters, two of the more active smelters are up this way, right? That being school and Griffin. So I've been up here many times. And there's a few other players up here, but I, I think Yo-Yo Dog and Spiraco have both gone inactive. Yo-Yo Dog for sure. Uh, we got more tailings that we might have to deal with. But once Rico gets his tailing storage, I don't know. So Rico, it, once you expand your tailing storage down at the bottom, um. are you... Planning to buy other people's tailings to store them down there or just your own? Because once you get that set up, maybe I'll come up to like people like this that are abandoned and I'll, and I'll just take their tailings away and then sell them to you. You know what I mean? Sell them for a negative. Um, just to get rid of them. But we got Griffin's place over here. There's Griffin. Hello. Ooh, oh, I like the... Okay, we got to go up there and check that out. That ceiling was really nice. Here's the ladder. Going down? Oh, I'm going up. Wait, maybe he wants me to go down. Oh, I just, this is a nasty view. Nobody wants to see these legs. Got a screening level, screening and crushing level. Holy crap, how far down does he go here? Ah. So this is where Griffin's storing his tailings. <laughs> Holy crap, he's got a lot of tailings. <laughs> That's a lot of tailings. Wow. YouTube is holding everyone one Mondays for review. I think... You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to change the base moderation so that it's less picky. But I think I need to add a couple people as moderators. So if anybody wants to volunteer to be a YouTube moderator for me, it pays in my gratitude, which is not good. But it is what it is. If anybody's interested. All right, so I want to see this. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's awesome, Griffin. I love that. Oh, yeah, nice table in your room. No, that's the thing. It pays the exact same as being an eco admin. And if you're both, you still only get paid once. That weekly, you know, where I send my gratitude to you in the mail. In the figurative mail. 
here's the thing. I would love to be able to pay both my eco admins and discord admins, which is YLL, even though I haven't seen YLL much lately, um, and YouTube admins, but until I can pay my own bills with this, unfortunately, I will not be able to pay anybody else. Eventually, though, someday, someday, someday I'm going to make it, and I'll be able to pay everybody. Because right now, right now, um, yeah, I can't pay anybody. Like I said, I can, I can barely stay alive myself right now. Um, anyway, enough about that. That's a lot of water wheels, too. Holy crap. I'm assuming Griffin. I don't know if Griffin's here. I'm assuming it's intentional to have them, like, going, like, it's this way, then this way, then this way, then this way. Like, they're they're alternating. That's the word I was looking for, trying to spit out. Alternating. I assume that's intentional. And again, I, I mean, if nobody wants to be a YouTube mod, it's fine. I'll survive. Um, I just thought I'd throw it out there that I don't know, we get some roadkill, it looks like. Yeah, he had a bad day. Oh, <laughs> I did not think that that would happen. No, I was already dead. <laughs> it was intentional. Nice. Because at first I was like, I was like, it kind of bothers me that they're not all going the same way. And then I realized it was alternating. I was like, oh yeah, I bet that was intentional. And I, 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 I did. I don't mind it so much now that I know it's intentional. What does YouTube mod even do? If if there's bots in chat, you can ban them, and or whatever. It's like school <laughs> it needs to hide some tailings. It's fine. It's fine right now, especially for school, where school is in the world. There's nothing up here that I'm really worried about pollution. You know what I mean? But eventually, it would be good to have these tailings buried. Like, Yeah, so like today, a YouTube mod would have to do absolutely nothing because there's been no bots. There's been no inappropriate comments, right? And more roadkill. Yeah. Scrabbit had a bad day. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that just goes to Hood's place, Hood and Dora's place. Hogwarts place is field right next to my blast furnace and processing machines. I don't think Hogwarts is active anymore, so I wouldn't worry about that, Don. Let me check on that, though, to see if that comment is accurate. Yes, Hogwarts has not been on in three, almost four days. So we still got, what was that, over 50 active people? So we're over a week in. We still have over 50 active people. I'm calling that a win. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it, Don. Like I said, they're they're inactive. Um Yeah, once once reinforced concrete comes out, your cement kilns will probably be working a little more often. And you're oh, oh you a blast furnace too. Oh, you went smelting, didn't you? That's right too. You're a smelter now. Are you gonna go? Or wait, are you a smelter? Wait, why do you have blast furnaces? I'm confused. Or am I blind? Am I blind? I don't see you here. Or maybe, are you just taking advanced? Oh, so they're like, they're your shared. Okay. That's where you smell. Okay. No, then that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I was just confused. I was expecting to see you as a smelter. This is Mr. Sparacco's place, but I believe we've been up here and looked at this. I don't. I think it's changed since then. Would you please buy me? Solid pun. Seven out of ten. Yeah, no, and that that's hey, like I said, that's fine. I was just kind of gapped out and forgot the calorie was a uh, smelter. So let's go check Skull's cottages here. Okay, so 
most people know I live on Prince Edward Island, Canada. It's a small little Canada Smalls province. Um, we have a lot of a lot of tourist business, right? There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of tourists uh, stuff going on. So I just want to say, I love how. So this is Skull's rental property, but I love how he he raised them up. Like a lot of the rental cottages and cabins and stuff around here, like this is what they look like. So I I, I just I appreciate the nod to realism here, right? Um, I can't remember somebody lived some at least. How do I see who? Show me who I, I'm pretty at least somebody rents from here. I'm just trying to remember how you see your own rents. There it is. So Hilbert rents from there. Um, two residents. How do I see who the residence is? Can you not see? Click on the deed. Uh, residency. Toby. I knew somebody was renting from here. Mill chain cow place down the road. I want to see. It. I don't see the mills though. Oh, this road here. <laughs> so, oh wow, that went way further than I expected. So, for anybody who doesn't know, you can chain basically anything that uses power can act as like a power pole, right? So, the they generate mechanical power. Like Calorie has some windmills right here. Like these poles are, are all for windmills. So these mills, because they use mechanical power, are, are chaining the power all the way down to Don's place and to this place, which is your your this is where your iron mine is, I guess, Cal. But anyway, yeah, so that's a that's that's a, a trick from one of my 10 things I wish I knew when I started playing eco videos. But anyway. This is Skull's rental property. I just appreciate the little, and I mean, it's not like it would have taken much. It's just like a little bit of mortared stone. But speaking as somebody who lives in an area that has a lot of rental cottages, I appreciate that little nod to realism. Yeah, we'll go see. Yeah, yeah, this brings us to the swamp. We got a few people, Sandman's in the swamp, uh, Strawberry Teddy Bear, and... Good guy Gonzo are in the swamp and Manny's in the swamp. Jay Schroeder's in the swamp. Am I forgetting one of my swamp people? And oh my God, the other day, somebody asked good guy Gonzo a question, but they typoed it and put good gay Gonzo. That was one of my favorite. Although you and A are nowhere near each other on the keyboard, so it wasn't so much a typo. It's just a mistake, I guess. But, oh, man, I laughed when I saw that. Good gay gonzo. <laughs> I think that's his name. Good guy gonzo, right? <laughs> Something like that. Where's he at? Yeah, just, yeah, good guy gonzo. Yeah, good guy gonzo. Somebody typoed it to good gay gonzo. All right, so this is Sandman's place, I believe. And this is also Sandman's place. Love what you've done with the place, Sandman, if you're still here. Yeah, Sandman, you don't usually make it to streams either, right? Because they're usually working. Man, Sandman even on still? Or Sandman here still? It's not. He's not on, so he's probably not watching the stream either. Get right in here. This is Sam Ann's mill, obviously. Oh, okay. That's just decorative. <laughs> Can you get into this part? Probably just decorative, right? Yeah, iron under the desk. Yeah, I figured that's what that was for. And I love Sam Ann's little, uh, whatever you want to call this, mine opening, mine entrance. It was coal mine. Or wait. It's coal mine. Oh, this is his house. Oh, and, and coal mine. <laughs> and crushing area. And storage. It's a, it's a lot of things. It's very multi-purpose. This is not the way out. <laughs> Am I lost? No. Right here? Yes. 
Anyway, I like this entrance. I like the entrance work. I don't know who did this bridge. I assume Sandman. I quite like... The, oh, I'm walking through your field. Okay, who's this? This is somebody who started on day one and I don't think came back. I want to say. Gogleam, yeah. Gogleam was in like my la my stream the other day. Said he was going to be on on the weekend, but I don't... I don't think I've seen him. Oh, yeah, seven days. Gold Gleam has not been here. Gold Gleam played, Gold Gleam played last server, right? Oh, that's just the government store up there. Although it is a nice government store, don't get me wrong. So here we got Strawberry Teddy Bear, Strawberry Teddy Bear and good Guy Gonzo's place. Strawberry Strawberries. Speak of the devil. Hi. Pop CFK. <laughs> And then they got their initial house slash store slash stores, storage. And okay, so this is their house. Nice lumber. Ooh, got an alligator. Room, a few different pieces of building material. And they were like, you know what? I just want this to be lumber. I don't care what kind of lumber. <laughs> I respect, I respect the hustle. Strawberry was the person who inherited part of Loco's raw food. Okay. Yeah, like, I respect the fact that there's, like, whatever. This just needs to work. I don't care what kind of lumber it is. And Manny lives down the road? Or is he Manny up the hill? Manny's up the hill. Yeah, you're going to do an Ashler house. Yeah, so right now it just needs to work, right? Like, exactly, Simon. It's tier two. That's all that really matters. This is Manny's place, right? Umbrella Corp? I think that's Manny. Yeah, it's Manny. Wait, I thought he had... I'm assuming that's supposed to be staff only. Private property of Umbrella Corporation trespassing will be legally prosecuted. No, can't do it. I got I to gotta respect the sign. I'm not staff. Holy crap, he's cleared out a lot of space, flattened a lot of space up here. This didn't take like a minute. This took some time. I am the law. No, I got to respect. I got to respect other people's privacy. Wait, isn't Manny a mechanic? Or did he not go mechanics? No, he's not. He's not a mechanic. He was going to go mechanic, though. And that's the thing, right? A lot of times people see me take something, and they're like, oh, well, I don't want to compete against the owner of the server. Everybody's going to go buy from him. So then people don't take it. But then what happens in that situation is I'm like the only one doing something, and then I get massive stressed out because i feel all this pressure on me so if you see me take something like i'm so glad that bori and rico took mechanics so i don't have to be the only one like last night i went i was like do i need to make any trucks i don't have any but i saw they each had two trucks for sale i was like all right i don't need to make any trucks there's four trucks for sale i'm good for a bit right it, it and it happens a lot oh ah, sorry strawberry Ah, there's a hole in the road. All right, so we are now to... We want to go up? Yeah, let's go up. Let's go up the ramp. Um, it's Bach and Forth's place. Bach and Forth and Oompa. And then we got Damo and Darth just down the road from them. And the other day I came up and I was trying... I was looking for the store down there for some reason. Anyway, so we got we got cooks here, we got cooks there. So if you need food, I guess El Tozo's a cook now too. So there's there's lots of cooks. Even with, you know, Loco uh moving on, we still have lots of cooks. So back and forth went with uh obviously um not parallel processing. What's the other skill called? The other perk. Whatever. Yes, punch. 
um, whatever the other perk, perk is, the one where you get the bonus for having a single workshop in the room, uh, Bach and Forth clearly went with that for cooking. <laughs> I know parallel processing is, processing is one where you have more than one. Buy me all the mochis, 20 paw ties, and all clam chowder. Okay. Cheese. He pad tie. All the clam chowder. This is 305 loonies, punch. Three twenty, <laughs> whatever you feel is fair, Punch. As long as it's at least three hundred five, I'm happy. Punch can at least say please. Punch doesn't have time to say please. Punch is a busy man. <laughs> Punch has just been waiting this whole time. Oh, I can't. He was. I can't wait till he gets to the cook's place. You need any baked stuff, Punch? While I'm here, need any meat pies or anything or donuts? I'm gonna buy some meat pies while I'm here. Oh, he does want some. All right, well, I'm going to buy my my food first so we don't get it mixed. And I, Cam's bread. Oh, Cam's bread is good. Let's take a couple of that because I'm probably going to crave that at some point since I find it good. Let's see, Punch says. Oh, come on, Punch. I don't got all day. I want to see what the... Sometimes I like seeing what the graphics are. For the eating. Now you're hungry in real life? Yeah, that happens sometimes. There's Damo. It happened to me the other day. I got hungry in real life because we kept talking about food and game. Skid marks. The classiest food name around. <laughs> and I got storage and butchery tables. and One silo, I'm assuming. Room for a second silo. And they got all their bakery ovens down here. A couple of cast iron stoves. Ooh, I'm surprised they only have two cast iron stoves. Maybe they just have two for now. All right, so you want, you want all the muffins punch? There's only six. So I'm going to assume, yes, you want them all. And you want all the flatbread? So that's another... $34. Uh, I'm assuming Richard's speaking his regular language. And correct, like Punch and Richard, you guys speak the same language ordinarily, right? And Sadio, like, are you three folks all from the same place? Yes? Well, that's cool. You don't want anything else while, we're, while I'm here, Punch? I'm going to buy some baked rose for myself. It's like when you go to the grocery store and you're picking something up for somebody else and you have to ring it in twice and then you're behind that person and you're like, ah, why are you, why can't you just ring it in all at once? God. No, is that just me? Maybe just me who hates that? I don't know. That's possible. All right. The truck is full of food now. <laughs> Some of which is mine. You wired me 400. Thank you, Punch. All right, so let's go see Xandra's place. I know she's Xandra's working on her airship build still. It's still a work in progress, but she's uh, her store has changed a lot. Oh. <laughs> Can I buy? <laughs> okay, no. All right, I will buy all the meat pies for Richard. That's it. <laughs> I'm not buying anybody else food. Just so we're clear, you want me to buy the pies for you, right? It's $105, and my truck is not close enough. Back her in here. There we go. There we go. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to swing by Xander's place. Now it's going to take me a couple minutes to get back because i got to show off other people's builds on my way. <laughs> Luber Eats, apparently. That's the problem. Everybody knows exactly where I am at all times. <laughs> so anyway, as I was trying to say... Wait, did I miss Xander's place? Oh, I'm on the wrong road. Xander's, Xander's over there. Yeah, because I was going to say, I thought it was a ramp up to Xander's place. And it is. I was correct. But yeah, everybody knows where I am. So they're going to be like, hey, Luch, can you grab that? Can you grab this? <laughs> yeah, if it gets to be too much, I'll just put an end to it. I don't mind grabbing stuff. That's not the road to Xander's, is it? No. As I was trying to say, because I keep interrupting myself. Xandra has worked on her store building. The airship is still a work in progress, but the store has come changed quite a bit, I'm pretty sure, since last time I was up here on stream. Right? That's different. Parking lot's different. I'm going to do something in-game that I never do in real life. That's back into a parking spot. <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful of you. <laughs> Airship is going to be a whole... Yeah, that's a whole server built there, Xandra. And her her mom, Jean's... Mom, Jean's gang. Here. Am I, am I going to join the mom, Jean, mom, Jean's gang here while I'm here? Oh, they go right on. All right, let's get a look at myself out in this. Wait, why are mine not purple? Why are, why are mine not the same color as yours? Look at those butts, though. Look at those butts, everybody. New transportation profession is working. There's a dressing room. Oh, is this the dressing room? Oh, she locked me in. You got to go to edit. Oh, you, you can color them. Okay, okay. Edit. Oh, you can. I want to be like red, like just red as red can get. Oh, I said red. There we go. Mom Jean gang. Hey, you open that door for a peek there, Missy? I don't know. I keep hearing about sketchiness going on up here. <laughs> she watches. Yeah, there's a peephole in this door, right? You can't see it. It's very small, but she's... She gets in there. I mean, it's not like I have anything to hide, right? I was ripping around in my underwear for the last week, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> There's the airship work in progress. We'll just take a quick glance at this from below. I got to get back. I got to deliver uh, Rico and punch their food. There is still like five pairs of capris there, kitty. All right, and then we got Flex Flight Master's place here. I think. I think this is Flex's place. Flex Corp. Yep. I do like the. I like your build. I like the. You know the, kind of like a real. Build. Although, oh, I'm assuming. Only one side has the eaves, or whatever you want to call it, or the, flashing. I don't know what you'd call that. Um, I'm not a construction person. Because the roads here in Flex couldn't put them down. But I like it. I like the, it's even though it's tier one materials, I like the mixing human logs, mortar, stone. Yeah, the road got away exactly. That's what I was trying to say. This was supposed to be symmetrical. And uh, yeah, you, you forgot. <laughs> oh, well. It still looks good. I still like the look. And you got the Flex truck and the Flex anvil and the Flex bison. The flex screening machine. Then we got Sadio and Zayam's place up here. That's a lot of brick. Holy crap. No, oh, a little bit of mortar sandstone mixed in. I'm going to say intentional in this room. I'm going to say probably not there. They just probably ran out of bricks by the looks of it. All right. I got to get back home. I got to get back home.
there's a couple people I didn't look at over in that road. I haven't been up to Tarudin and Elsirk's place. Um, I think everybody else I've managed to hit, though. But I got some food to deliver because apparently I'm Luber Eats now. And that is um, Russ's place, right? I believe, yeah. Oh, you got to take that corner a little sharper there, Luch. Exactly. I mean, if I want a good tip, I got to make sure the food's not cold, right? Or I don't want to be accused of eating said food. Oh, there's Rico. All right, so let's... Okay, so I'm trying to figure out whose food is whose here. All right. That's your food, Rico. You think? Those are, those are your meat pies? The rest of them are mine. The 14 in my bar are mine. Oh, you're supposed to... Wait, no. Oh, it's probably too heavy for him, maybe? years man i bought them for you you asked me to buy all the meat pies that's all the meat pies all right i gotta take a picture that i delivered it all right somebody take a screenshot so i can prove that i delivered the meat pies I feel a lot better if you pick them up rico maybe it's too heavy for him i don't know those are yours, though. You asked for those. That's what you asked for, right? All the meat pies? Oh, anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to leave him there. Liver punch his food. Punch where you at? Oh, you're behind me. I just drove by, by punch. Oh, he's underground. <laughs> I did not drive by punch. He is underground. I see that punch. I'm on my way down to you. Oh, no, wait. I'm probably not going to be able to drop this stuff for you because it's on your property, right? Oh, no, technically you're in the road district right now, right? Yeah. So I will be able to drop this stuff for you. I'm assuming you just want me to drop it here. So you wanted... Oh, no, wait, it's all on my truck. I got to bring my truck down. <laughs> Sigh. All right. Let me, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Is that how I get out of here? Man, I am definitely going to fall in when I try to take that corner. <laughs> 100%. All right. Give me a minute. I, got, I forgot that everything was in my truck. Let's get down here. Oh, you drive so slow on the desert sand. You gotta be careful going around this corner. Is that like a trap punch? If people try to use your mind, you trap them, make them go down there instead? <laughs> Cause like, if I just came down here without coming down here on foot first, I definitely would have biffed her into there for sure. So, muffins, flatbread, uh, cheese, clam chowder, head tie, and the rest of the muffins. Don't forget your food, man. All right, somebody get a screenshot of this that it's all delivered. It's garbage, apparently. Oh, we got a party. Now Rico's down here, too. Wait, what? Oh, he's paying for his food in iron bars? <laughs> okay, that works for me. I do accept payment in iron bars, folks. Oh, uh, this is definitely enough. I accept payment in Iron Bears. All right, Punch is grabbing his food. Rico's got his food. Luber Eats, the first... Oh, I'll let Rico get out here. The first Luber Eats was a success. <laughs> All 
All right, see if Rico biffs her. Nope. Both deliveries post on, e on Discord. Yeah, you got to work on this on this corner punch. Like, really testing my driving skills here. Thanks, kitty. First ever Luber Eats. I should probably... I keep saying this, but at some point, I want to put the foods I like as buy orders. So that everybody should put the food they like as buy orders in their shop. And then we could actually have a Luber Eats. Or a, an Uber Eats in general. It doesn't have to be me doing it right. Somebody could, though. Oh, yeah, I was almost out of pies. And boom. Pies. Yeah, weight's down low enough now, I think. Yeah, simmered meat is heavy. All right. The autumn stew is more of a craving thing. I, know, I guess we find it good. No, we should eat more autumn stew for sure. And I don't, I can't speak for anybody else, but I have no regrets whatsoever about taking away spoilage. Like, none whatsoever. Oh, these iron wheels aren't supposed to be in there. They're supposed to be there. Um, now, that's not to say I'll never add spoilage back on to a server. But as of right now, I'm leaning towards never having it. All right, so we sold a bunch. Oh, so my keep AU4s and stock plans not going all that well. Um, oh, Punch has got some fives. Or threes. Are these AU3s anybody's punch? Can I buy them and turn them into fours? Or are they, are they spoken for? Buy them? Okay. Perfect. So there you go, folks. We'll have a. Uh, I should have lots of AU4s again here, which is good. I think for people who need AU4s. Although I probably don't need the stock. Oh, you still need a bunch, though, right, Kitty? Did you. Did you start upgrading yours yet at all? I know you said you had like 11 or 13 or something. 13? Did you start yet upgrading? Because at some point, you know, people aren't going to need any more. You have not. All right. So there you go. So there'll be a bunch ready for you. Man, I feel like, I feel like I've made a lot of stamp mills. Oh, I'm out of boards. I'm out of boards again. Who has boards? Um, Thruden has boards. All right, we got to go to Thruden's anyway because we haven't showed it yet. And Stealth has boards, but I I haven't been to Thruden's place, so let's go to Thruden's place. You're too tired to keep playing long enough. All right, and like I said, I'd recommend just coming over like so many at a time. You have like 40 AU1s in stock. Okay, well, I will buy some of them later. And, and bring the punches. And then... Oh, yeah. I did say I would do that for you, Rico. I can, yeah. These things go so much slower in reverse. Rico wants a mechanics upgrade. Uh, how's our balance? Oh, we need protein bed. Simmer to me to this. Reverse steam truck race. <laughs> um, it's going to take six minutes for that, Rico. Um, so it uses an AU4 and some labor. So I'll just put it for like like 175. So it will be in my store in uh, five minutes or so, Rico. All right. There we go. All right, we've got that done. Got to go to Rudin's by boards. Um, got to go by Mr. Sneaky and Inferno's place and Bori. Um. Then I think we've shown off. Uh, and then once we go to Thrunes, we'll go past Thrunes to Elsirks. Right? We're going to kind of snake our way around. I think 
people I've shown everybody? Did I miss any? Like, other than the people I said I'm about to do, have I missed anybody? Yeah, Kitty, I would bring over like three of your AU3s at a time. I'm assuming you already have AU3s. Oh, we got some pawns here. We got some pawns to read. I use my carpentry skills to fix a creaky stair. Screw that noise. I heard you did some carpentry today. You must be proud of yourself. Yeah, that was good. I actually like that one. <laughs> You must be proud of yourself. <laughs> Farmer's market has been cleared of the overgrown trees. It's ready for the community to work in some construction. All right, so do I need to make some shop carts then? Is anybody looking for a shop cart? Right, so this is Inferno's place, I believe. Yeah, Inferno Rock. Inferno's mine. Peekaboo. How do we get in here? Oh, right here. <laughs> get upstairs no, no no I don't know how to get upstairs whatever it's like it's brick I assume it's it's their house probably around this way to get upstairs yes oh wow it's <laughs> it's brick in the front oh yeah, I guess they need a brick for their cement kiln but then then it turns into tier one and then it turns into like partially tier one <laughs> People will need shop carts for it. Yeah, I'll try to keep a couple shop carts in stock then. I don't think they're anything too insane to make. It's just basically like a wood cart plus a store, I think. Is it shop cart or wood shop carts? So it's basically... Oh, it needs cotton fabric. All right, I'll have to swing by Xander's or Fabricville then. Yeah, it's a wood cart, some lumber, and some cotton fabric. Not too bad. All right, I'll try to have. I'll try to keep those in stock going forward. All right, so this is uh, the D four station. This is Mister Sparocco's wood place, but again, I think he's gone inactive. Do you have any boards? No. Yeah, he, he is an active, but not by much. He might be back. Possibly. And then, oh, yeah, who's this place? This looks like it hasn't changed. No, nope, I take that back. It has changed. <laughs> These bricks were not here before. Hanson Man. Hanson Man. Hanson Man. Anyway, we looked at that before. The brick part. Oh, wow. So he's got even more housing now. Oh. And we got Bori's place. Bori's got his mechanic shop over here. And Bori is working with, um, yes, Huntress Senpai. I almost forgot the name. Bori's uh, machine shop. Oh, yeah, got lots of space to expand, Bori. Bori doesn't watch the streams, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Bori should watch the streams. And I think over there is uh, Sadio's place, right? Wait, is that still? Yeah, that's Sadio's place. That is definitely Sadio's place. Sadio slash is I am's place. And then we got Goods Beyond, which is Mr. Sneaky's store. Oh, and I want to mention um, for anybody, any miners, uh, where do you put the contract board? Mr. Sneaky has a contract. Oh, what's this garbage, man? You can't leave garbage around like that. Um, or wait, did he get rid of it? I mean, yesterday I helped Mr. Sneaky set up a work party for a bunch of crushed shale, and maybe he doesn't have it anymore. So I could have swore he put the contract board right next to the stamp mill. This is what he told, told Axel and I when we were in voice helping him with that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't have it. I guess there's a way I can go in and work parties. No, never mind. Never mind. He either canceled it or it got finished. I'm assuming canceled it because the contract board isn't even there anymore. Is the contract board somewhere else? 
He said he had it right next to the stamp mill, though. Anyway, never mind. I have no point. <laughs> you only have six of the 13 AU, AU3s you need. Okay. So you need to take the AU1s punch for, or... Yeah, I don't know. You can do it however you want. Like I said, I'll, I'm trying to keep fours in stock. Got to go up this ramp, don't worry. Um, yeah, do it however you feel best. Just don't bring all 13 at the same time because you'll be waiting a long time. Right, you're better off just... I, I have three machinist tables that have AU4s queued. So that's why I would recommend doing three at a time. You know what I mean? So we're going out to Truden's place now. Have glass ring, you can do the AU2s. Yeah, yeah, so you can do the AU2s yourself. You can get Cody to do the AU3s. Or you can just bring them the punch. No. Man at work. Man at work down there. He's, oh, yeah. Was it just slash wave? Yep. Yeah. Ah, fun. All right. We are also here for the boards, though. And I am sold out of mechanical water pumps again. All right, so we'll have to stock some more of those when I get back home. Lots of things up here. Boards, um, oh, boards are nice and cheap up here, too. I don't care which one. Let's go 150, just to make sure I don't have to come back up here. Like, ever. You know, let's, let's buy some human while we're up here, too. I don't care which kind. Go 90, say stack. In 15s and 30s. I know the dance. I, I know the dance one, because we've done that. Or like as a group. Oh, see now he's down. He's trying to work, right? He doesn't need to be distracted by my dance moves. He's trying to get stuff done. I don't want to be distracting him. A lot of stumps. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he'll clear his stumps eventually. It's a bit remote. Yeah, you don't have many neighbors, right? You're probably you probably appreciate my business. <laughs> You probably don't get a lot of it, I assume, up here. But at least you can get there. The road wasn't too bad. The first time I came up to your shop, the road was uh, a little more sketchy. See, this is why I need a moderator, Kitty. That message, which is not that dirty, the auto moderator is holding it for a review, right? But if I take the auto moderator off, then I need actors to ban bots when bots happen. So this is what Katie said that was so controversial. Take the pants off and give him a preview of your OnlyFans. I've been running around in my tidy whities for days at this point. Yes, when I get back, I got to get some shop carts going. And what did I just run out of? Mechanical water pumps. Make sure I have lots of AU4s in stock. And now that we're at Elsirk's place, I... I think I've hit pretty much everywhere. Oh, there's one person down. Oh no, we forgot about I, I missed I missed Blacking Out and Philosopher King. And Republic of Raider, I think, dropped up here. Yeah, and then who's over here? Imley. Yeah, and I'll get a few people down that way. There's Imley. Or I am Lee. I'm Lee. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> um, also, where's where did Lord Frost set up? There's who's over here? Popping Ninja. Popping Ninja's not active though. But I know Lord Frost joined. Where did Lord Frost set up? Wow, Simon and them got their pyramid almost completed. All right. This is L Cirque. Dropping logs. <laughs> Calorie and Xandra are my rich benefactors. This is the wealthiest you've ever been. So apparently living on your own is fine as long as you provide a needed surface at a, uh, at a reasonable price, right? 
I don't think this road is done, judging by the... Nope, that road gets real sketch real quick. Um, <laughs> but I think I can go through here. Yeah, I think I can squeeze through there. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll see. And it's right here I'm worried about. Ah. Oh, no, I can't squeeze through. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah, you're a carpenter, but not a logger, right, Cal? So you have to buy your hewn logs? <laughs> Xander needs a lot of wood for that airship. Indeed, you do. All right, so when Kitty was talking about the farmer's market, this is what she's talking about. I should probably show this since I'm driving by. So the idea is um, people bring their wood shop carts and they can drop them here. The only thing is you can only really do that with like stuff that you don't need a stockpile for, right? Or are you planning to have space for people to drop stockpiles, Kitty? Oh, hi, Ezzy, Kitty's other cat. Oh God, can I even squeeze through here? Yes, easy peasy. Wait, uh, which way is faster? Oh, yeah, I'm just stopping in the middle. Sorry, Cal. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it's quicker to go the other way. It would need to be bigger if we did stockpiles. Okay, so basically food, raw, like raw or cooked food, tailored stuff, um, boards, you know, there, there, I mean, there are definitely a few people that that could definitely put a cart there. Depends, it, it, but it depends drastically on your profession, right? How much you should get out of that. I guess I could set up a cart for AU fours if I ever get enough. <laughs> but yeah, it is a farmer's market, right? So even if it's just food people, yeah, this is pyramids almost done. Oh, it can hold blocks too? Oh, okay. Never mind. I take it all back then. I didn't realize that. I thought it only held stuff that that could go in a chest. My bad. Never mind. Ignore all that. How much? How much space does it have, Kitty? For, like, is it like wood cart size? Like for blocks? I guess I could sell trucks and stuff there. Those fit in a chest, I think. Logic. I mean, as logically, you can fit a steam truck in a chest. <laughs> Black and out says, cut down my first old growth redwood. That's a lot of wood. Yep. Oh, calorie in the early days of the server, when we were when we still had stone tools, calorie cut down multiple old growth redwoods. I don't even want to know how many wet stones you had to use to cut down <laughs> cut down those old growth redwoods, Cal. But it does give a lot of wood, so it's probably worth it. And I'm assuming Xander, you did empty this shop, right? I don't need to. I don't need to worry about this. Yeah, and a lot of food too. It's a long time just sitting there, swinging the hammer. Okay, well I'm glad we came down because. This is worth it. Holy crap, Black and Out, you've been busy. What do you call a piece of wood with nothing to do? Board. Basic upgrade. Oh, yeah, this is... You've been busy. <laughs> Black and Out, holy crap. This didn't look anything like this last time I was down here. When you did that carpenter run, you had to make 300 plus BUs. Holy crap. You cut down a lot of redwoods with your stone axe? I am too stubborn to do that. Yeah, blacking out. This is crazy. Black tower was cleared. Okay. I figured because you you said you said something about the um uh wood pulp, so I assumed that meant you were down there doing it, right?
Well, <laughs> I do this too. I leave crappy old pieces of, of curved wood roof. <laughs> Black and it's like, oh no, he saw my roof holes. That's right. I saw Black and Out's roof holes. That was never the same. I I don't know. I maybe I'm a child and I shouldn't enjoy this as much as I do, but I love the windmill moving my character. That's why you lock your doors. Hey man, still roof access. It was just me and Sully, and he wasn't making any. Yeah, it's I mean it's just wood, but it's a lot of wood, right? We got Philosopher King's place over here. Philosopher King's Bridge, of course, was the thumbnail in one of the streams last week, like Tuesday, I think, last Tuesday's stream was this, the thumbnail was this nice bridge. And special bonus points for functional support pillars. Altozo had some of his functional, so he gets partial points. Can I squeeze through here? Okay. The Pyramid of, okay, Simon's Pyramid. All right, so let's see what, uh, I'm Lee. It's got cooking over here, and then we'll take a look at the completed pyramid as we go by Philosopher King's house here. And plant fibers. Oh, yeah, he probably uh, spent a lot of time slumming for plant fibers then, too, right? Oh, yeah, there. PK is a Philosopher King, or PK is a Philosopher King. PK is Philosopher King, but they're glass worker is what I was trying to say. Before I decided that words were hard. Oh, you got six lumber to go, Simon says. Simon says, says. <laughs> Black new cutting down trees. All right, I'm assuming this is, yes, I am Lee's property. Oh, I like, look at the windmills. Right? Like now, when they're like completely offset, that looks cool. Right now. That's cool. I like that. They're pretty new. I think they just joined in the last day. Yeah, they just got the, a wood hut right now. Or a tent with a start of a wood hut. But welcome to the server, I am Lee. All right, the pyramid is done. All right, so... Ooh, I haven't... Ah, I did not show Ishmael's stuff off today. I missed that. All right, Ishmael. My friend. Somebody remind me to show off Ishmael's stuff next stream. I showed his store, but not everything else of his. Oh, yeah, here's the... Make sure you cut down the stump, blacking out. Um, just because you get you get taxed a hundred bucks for cutting down the tree, you get it back if you do the stump. But you're out a hundred bucks if you cut down a red, an old growth redwood, and don't remove the stump. Which is why that law is there, because we had an issue. It was, I mean, it was a like server six. It was a while ago. People were cutting down old growth redwoods and leaving the stumps. So we put that law in to prevent that. Because it's worth a hundred bucks to cut it down, right? <laughs> Generally, for most people at least. Ooh, who put a store here? I wrote, drove right by the store and didn't even notice it or comment on it or anything. Oh, Hanson Sands store. What's Hanson Sands sell? Okay. It's in the road. Yeah. True. True. There's I am Lee. Probably doesn't even see me. <laughs> All right. Pants and Sand has stores everywhere. All right. They're very enterprising. They're one of those people that I know they've been playing, but I, I feel like I haven't, I personally haven't seen them much. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So let's see the finished pyramid. And that will uh, probably do it for the stream. So by, by the time next stream hits, advanced smelting will be out and steel will be out. Which, if uh, if the early days of iron were any indication, there will probably be relatively not a lot of steel for the first couple days. Um, and, oh, and punch. Are you, you're not going to have advanced smelting star 
right away, are you, Punch? You're gonna have to, it's gonna be a couple days later for you. Holy crap, look at this thing. Look at this beast. All right, I gotta do slash fly for this so we can actually appreciate the scale of this. So yeah. All right. I hope you're stocked up on coal. It's, it, it's coal that's that's bad. Okay, for anybody who has coal, like anybody in the wetlands that sells coal or anybody who has coal in their basement or any of that, stock it up now because when Monday hits, wait, is it Monday? It's tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um, there's going to be a ton of coal needed. Oh, that's just not where I want to be. <laughs> for the For steel. It uses more steel than anything else. Or it uses more coal than anything else. And quick line. So yeah. It it could I mean having iron stored is great. But it's um generally speaking, it's the coal and the um and the crushed limestone or quick lime or whatever. That's the problem. That that's the hold up, right? In my opinion. That's just my opinion. But but that having iron stocked up is a start. Yeah, this is crazy, Simon. You're going to make a house out of it? That was a lot of lumber, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Wait, is there a way in? <laughs> going to have to make a way in. You have to make, oh, you should make the way in, like, go underneath. Like, dig a tunnel between your old house and that. Already do it, or are you just planning to do that? Now I'm looking for a ladder going down. <laughs> We're already doing it. Oh, oh, right here. Yep. All right. Sorry, Hilbert. A lot of ladders. <laughs> I'm assuming he was just trying to get his ladder the ladders out of his hand. There we go. Now we're in. Oh yeah, you can appreciate the scale of it from the inside for sure. Holy crap. Oh, I'm still so happy I came by right when you were doing the when you were building the outside on the back of the truck. Oh, that was great. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. Nice. All right. Holy crap. 25 people watching. This might be like my best stream ever. I guess streaming on the weekend is a good thing, right? Use charcoal too. You can use charcoal too. Oh, and when I say coal, I'm not, I'm not even talking about like for fuel, like steel uses coal as part of the recipe and you need it for fuel. I do. Yeah. I do recommend using charcoal for fuel because it stacks. So you can like queue up a bunch and walk away. Get a middle of maze. Yeah. This is just half the battle, right? So next weekend I'll have to swing by for uh, another look at the inside. All right, cool. Oh, how do I get out this way? Two hundred seventy-five. Oh well, there's been more than that views. It's just twenty-five people at a time. I want to say when my team fight manager stuff was was really popular, I probably had around this. I might have had more than this, but this is my best eco stream. I'm pretty sure, which is good, which is encouraging. I feel like not streaming every day is better because if I stream every day, people are just like, eh, you know, like. <laughs> And I get it, but only streaming three times a week. People are like, all right, Lucha streaming, cool, right? Anyway, I generally plan these things to be two hours. We're almost at two and a half hours now, so I'm going to end stream. But thank you very much for coming out, everybody. It, it uh, does mean a lot to me. Um, again, I'm going to try to stream Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday this week coming. I'm going to try to get another little guide out or two. Um, Time to put on my silver and blue. 
listen, go Chiefs, go. Cowboys, whatever. They can win or lose. I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, who are they playing? The 49ers? Ooh. That's going to be a tough game. 49ers are a good team. Like, they lost some games early in the year when they had a lot of injuries on defense, including the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat them. But since the 49ers have gotten healthy, and apparently Brock Purdy's like the second coming of Tom Brady, um, yeah. I mean, Cowboys are a good team, too. Don't get me wrong. Um, Sanders says, I like how Truden called me his wealthy benefactor, and I'm at 400, and Truden is at 7,000. <laughs> well, you made him wealthy, and you're his benefactor. So, <laughs> but good luck to the Cowboys. Um, yeah. There's no bad teams left. I mean, yesterday, you could argue <laughs> that the two teams that played yesterday aren't great teams, like Jacksonville and the Giants. Um, but, yeah, no, there's there's no bad teams left now. Wife's a Cowgirls fan. Yeah, Kitty has a personal vendetta against the Cowboys. Um, so, yeah, is one of those games on already? Or are they, like, there's one at, like, supper time, one in the evening. I'm just checking my phone for, for that. No, yeah, they start. No, they're not started yet. Gonna have to tune into those. Those are probably gonna be good games. My God, the Eagles killed the Giants. The Eagles slaughtered the Giants yesterday. All right, so yeah, come back on Tuesday, folks. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to have another guide or two, um, similar to the one I had on basic engineering. So I'm gonna have one on mechanics. I also want to do one on just on just a, like a, a pure beginner's guide on on using the store. You know, setting limits, setting up your stockpiles. Um, you know, the benefits of having multiple stores versus one store, you know, I'm going to kind of telling people how to check prices. Anyway, that guy will be coming this week. Most of you folks don't need it, but, you know, it will be good for new players to eco and hopefully draw people to the server. Because um, a lot of you folks have found me through my, like, through my guides, right? Like my 10 things I wish I knew guides or like I know Xandra has told me. Excuse me, she found me through my, what was it, the How to Set Up a Blast Furnace, Sandra? I think you found me from. Yeah, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back on Tuesday, and I will be streaming next weekend, um, probably Saturday, especially since the Chiefs game is probably going to be Sunday, right? I assume, I assume both games will be Sunday next week, so stream will be Saturday. Go Chiefs. Go Bruins. Um, advanced smelting coming tomorrow a whole bunch of other skills coming later in the week Thursday uh, I think that's it be good to each other have a great day and I'll see you in the next one